Jordan, on a scale of 1 to 10, how awkward is your conversation with Curtis? <sighs> awkward, yeah, like a 9. Hi, it's Danny and Jordan. And this is Text on the Beach with Cosmopolitan UK. Bloop. What's that, a text noise? Yeah. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Hey, Danny and Jordan. So, what was the best thing about being on Love Island? Oh, the best thing. The people, the banter, like the friendships we made, for sure. I don't know. The toasties were pretty good. <laughs> yeah. And then this one's alright, I guess. Cherry on top. Ooh, do either of you have any regrets about your time in the villa? No. Absolutely not. Because if not I had any regrets, I might not be where I am right now. Yeah. I had a whale of a time. I literally mm. made the best friendships. There was not one person that I personally did not get on with, so I have zero regrets. And I managed to leave with Danny and just slapped on the back of your neck. I'm so sorry. Ow. <laughs> I'm so managed. sorry. It just oh. sounds louder. <laughs> it just sounds louder than it actually is. Got you, babe. I've got you. Danny, have you spoken to Arabella or Yuanda since leaving the villa? Uh, yes, I messaged both of them on Instagram pretty shortly after I got out. I sent them a message. I said, look, I hope there's not hard feelings. I wish you all the best for the future. Um, still got a ton of respect for you both. Let's just clear the air. And they both responded positively with nice messages back. So it's all clear. Yeah. <laughs> got left days. on red for a few days. I was wondering what was going on. No, no. Um, yeah, they responded just kind of with a similar kind of with to similar tone, kind of. Yeah, no hard feelings, you know. It is what it is. Um, see you at the reunions. It'll be reunion on the 4th. So yeah. it's going to be nice. John has not met them. So yeah, it'd be nice. Just catch up. It will be good. Out of the villa, there's less drama, less intensity. Let's just all just be friends. Jordan, on a scale of 1 to 10, how awkward is your conversation with Curtis? <sighs> awkward, yeah, like a 9. It's really hard when someone is being so real and so raw and literally put his entire relationship on the line. It became awkward because it took me a while, like I danced around the words for ages and then I kind of just like pulled the trigger and was like, okay, yep, yeah, this is what needs to be said and it said and that was it. You know, I was I was I was surprised pleasantly by Curtis's courage to kind of come out and say, look, this is how I feel, oh, put yeah. it on the line. Um, and if you went for Curtis, I would have, you know, I'd been like, you know, fair enough, because you know I would have just respected it. But luckily, you didn't. <laughs> Jordan, were things ever awkward between you and Amy? Never, never. Um, Curtis told Amy instantly. That was a bit awkward. I just said to her, whenever you want to talk to me, I'm here. And then after that, it was like any time she was upset. Surprisingly, I was one of the people she came to the most. I, I really admire her class yeah. and the way she handled that because I would have been crawling Massively. on the floor or smashing glasses in the kitchen. So for her <laughs> to have like held her head up and you know she had her moments of being upset but for her to have had and handled it in, in the class and managed she did, absolutely nothing but respect for her. Um, which islander had the most annoying habits or was the hardest to live with? Um. Um, most annoying habits. Everyone always left the milk out. In the sun. Proper, in the sun. It's like 30 degree oh. heat. People would make a coffee, leave the milk on the side, the milk would go off. You go in the fridge and there's probably four bottles of ketchup open. Um, there's like six milks open. I caught Tommy red-handed once having the last ice pop and then he put the empty packet back in the freezer. So I'm just gonna blame Tommy for everything. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy, it's your fault. I love you, Tommy, but I'm blaming you for everything. I just think there was definitely like a parents, children type of vibe in certain scenarios when it came to like washing up. I was the angry single mum. And constantly washing the dishes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, Danny, which Harry Potter house would you be in? There's only one answer. Yeah. Gryffindor! <laughs> <laughs> it could only, there was only one answer. If you said anything else, I'd have said Imagine if I said Imagine. What would you do? Walk out. <laughs> Who in the villa is playing a game? Do you know what? We get asked this all the time and my head hurts trying to figure it out. Whoever in there is playing a the game, they're very good at it because they're clearly still there. The easiest game to play, I think, is to stay with one person and try and make it all game. the way. The, the long, long game is the easiest win. game, I would say, because if you're trying to chop and change, then people won't really like more you. More judgment. You're more judgy, you're more spotlights on you. So I feel like, you Let's know, people play. might accuse of it because me of it, accuse Curtis of it, you know. The people who kind of change their mind on somebody, I think, are the ones who aren't playing games. Well, yeah, because they're going to go with Because they're, they're following they their gut, they're yeah. following their feelings, and they don't care what people think, they're following what they want to do. Yeah. Um, so that's all I'll say on that. Yeah. Who do you want to win? Easy for oh, us. Oh, Ben and Anton. Yeah, we want Ben and Anton to win. Anton. Um, 
Bell was one of your closest girls in yeah. there. Anton, Anton was my boy in there. Boys, I was yeah. close with a few of the guys, but I think if I had to pick one best friend, it would definitely be Anton. Oh, Anton's amazing. If anyone did deserve it, it's you know, Anton. it's definitely Anton. And I want him to win it with Bell. Mm. In honour of George, <laughs> what's your favourite snack of all time? In honour of George, I love that. Oh, George, I love George. I absolutely love George. What's my favourite snack of all time? Probably the toasties we made. Now it has to be. It never used to be. Now it's the toasties that we made. And if I can't replicate that in my own house, I'm going to be very upset. I used to make pot noodles and then scrunch up a bag of crisps and put the crumbs in the pot noodle. Yeah, that, it tasted oh really good. Oh my, wow, wow. Finger yeah, love. beef and mushroom and then probably ready salted, yeah. Yeah. If you liked what you saw today, subscribe to Cosmopolitan's YouTube channel.